Mayor Tim Keller's first proposed city budget focuses on what he says is the city's biggest priority, public safety, and that includes extra funding for police and fire. News 13's Jackie Kent is live downtown with the mayor's proposal. Jackie. Dean, Mayor Keller says the goal is to give our first responders more resources to fight the city's crime problem so Albuquerque can see a stronger economy in the long term. This proposal gives APD and AFD long needed resources to tackle the crime epidemic in our city. Top priorities in Mayor Tim Keller's first city budget proposal since taking office revolve around public safety, starting with a multi-year plan to hire more APD officers to tackle Albuquerque's crime problem. We must support our existing officers who are out there on the streets every day keeping our community safe. The best way to support them is to get them some help, get them some more officers. We've also discovered a backlog of latent fingerprints up to 18 months from crime scenes all across our city. We're allocating almost $2 million to address both of these backlogs. Hefty goals in Keller's $995 million budget that includes an extra $45 million from a gross receipts tax increase. That includes drug addiction initiatives and more than $8 million in homeless services. We cannot fix public safety in Albuquerque without focusing on efforts like behavioral health, mental health, and addiction. That means help for AFD when responding to these related medical calls. Our firefighters also respond to the most calls per firefighter than any other fire department in the country. Receiving funds to create a new mobile health care program, which AFD says will in turn help with 911 wait times. This will shift non-emergent 911 calls to less resource intensive approaches, including home or site visits to common callers and community risk reduction efforts for private residences and public spaces. A few weeks ago, the mayor released a long list of potential cuts, including closing 311 and some golf courses. But today we found out that won't have to happen after all because the gross receipts tax covers those costs. Dean, back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. The city council will start reviewing the budget and has until the end of May to amend and adopt it. The new gross receipts tax increase takes effect on July 1st.